it, it was truly extraordinary to be reporting on that moment between the two and that handshake. Yes, that handshake that just and that tap at the and back. Kept giving, didn't it? <laughs> um, but, you know, remarkable scenes we saw there, the symbolism, of course, and now we pour over the details about whether or not there was substance behind that declaration that the two men signed as well. Just like what our guest said, there isn't much substance and it was a victory for Kim Jong-un. But, of course, that is just one side of the issue. But if you listen uh, to uh, Donald Trump's administration, they said it was truly a victory for Trump and for the world. Yeah, I think uh, the issue about whether or not this will secure a any kind of peace in the Korean Peninsula uh, remains to be seen, but time will tell, of course. The conversation uh, continues for some time. But for us, this is a momentous day This for is a us. momentous day for us, indeed, because this is the seventh I can, I can year. This is the seventh year of Newsday, and for the first time ever, it's also very historical Babita and yours truly are in one set. Hasn't we happened. are here in the Singapore studio. It hasn't happened in the seven true. years. And it is, in fact, our anniversary of Newsday. Uh, this another week handshake. As well. Another handshake. Well done. Well done. Happy anniversary to Happy too. anniversary to uh, you, Babita. Stay with us. We're going to be back with the headlines next and another edition of Newsday coming your way. I'm Rico Hezon. I'm Babita Sharma. Sharma. And we're in the same place. <laughs> See you soon.